Hi guys, this is Riley with Risky Riders, and I did a story on Instagram the other day showing uh, some 3D scans with my new iPad Pro, and I wanted to show you guys my first real attempts to scan a Superjet. I think we're gonna do it in a few different sections and see what happens. The best one I found so far is called 3D Scanner App. I'm gonna use a screen record so you can see what's going on on the iPad. This technology is pretty awesome because it's built into the iPad Pro and it's coming to the new iPhone 12 Pro line, I believe. And it's called a LiDAR sensor. And the LiDAR sensor is right in here. You can see it kind of flashing now and then. The camera is picking up some of the infrared. So. Uh, a lot of people have iPhones, so if you get the Pro, you can do stuff like this right off your phone. We'll set the max depth to around one meter, put the resolution a little bit lower at like seven millimeters, and let's just see what happens. So if I just whip around here real fast, try to do the whole ski in one go, that is like super quick and dirty. All right, let's see what happens. Pretty stoked with that. It came out pretty good. All right. Okay, so this time I'm gonna do like a, what they call a paintbrush method. It's kind of like, obviously when you're painting a wall, like scan up and down and just try to be really even. Uh, once you're done with that area, just leave it. So I'll just do half the ski and I'm just going to do the paintbrush method and see if it's a lot more accurate than the last. And then I'm just gonna get the back and the tray and then I'm gonna stop. All right, I'm gonna hit save, see what we got. Actually looks pretty good again for as fast as I did it. Maybe it messed up on the hood a little bit. Let's change up the settings a little bit. So I'll put the max depth down to like 0.6 and set the resolution at three. So then it should be like as accurate as this thing could probably get. As I get closer, it'll start to grab it. Which is pretty awesome to look at. Maybe I'm just a nerd. I'll just stay above the bond line on this one. See what I get. We'll just stop there. So that time I just stayed above here and I didn't really do the tray. So I did a, a smaller section. So maybe I would do that, flip it around to the other side and then like do this top section with the tray and then put those meshes into mesh mixer and end up with the full jet ski. So looking at it now, if nothing below the bond line at all, but it looks pretty clean. Pfft, wow. That looks really straight. Seems to do the white a little bit better than the black. So it seems like the more ref reflective white is doing better with the LiDAR. So spray paint your ski white and then maybe you could 3D scan it better. Kidding. All right, cool. That one's really good. All right, let's move the ski around and see what I can get. I tried to do this outside once and I think the lighting in the garage with the LEDs is 
more consistent. So ideally, then you would flip this key upside down um, and then scan the bottom. All right, I'm gonna scan the tray. So we've got both sides and the tray in the back. That is sweet. Dang, that's cool. This shows you the raw data without any colorization. So this is just the LiDAR scanner, I believe. And then this, I don't know what this is displaying, but then this one with the bricks here on the right, this shows the LiDAR scan with the color applied to it, which is pretty incredible. Measure point to point. tray width of 34 centimeters. I can't do that in my head, but I think it's probably pretty close. Now we can share that. And this is where it gets into CAD, things that work with CAD. You can take and share this directly to an OBJ file if I'm familiar with, or an STL. Um, either one of those are gonna work. Yeah, you can save it straight out of here and go ahead and email it, or AirDrop or whatever and uh, work with it in Mesh Mixer, SolidWorks, all that stuff. Cool. All right, guys, there's a quick and dirty on how I am 3D scanning a Superjet with the new iPad Pro. I'm gonna take these scans and try to combine them into at least the top deck, the top half of the Superjet using Mesh Mixer software, which is free download from Autodesk. And hopefully I can get this in a pretty accurate 3D model into SolidWorks. And then who knows where it goes from there, but pretty awesome technology in the iPad.